Time to get a puppy to go pee pee. I think a puppy is busy with her bone. <laughs> she said, you will not scoop me up then. No, you won't. All right. I'm going to go out and try this pee-pee again. Now it's time for Miss Lula to go out and go pee-pee. At least that's what I hope. And after one unsuccessful attempt to get her leash on, I have to lure her out again. And very soon she comes out and I will scoop her up this time. Makes putting on the leash a little bit trickier. But we do manage, and then we head for the door. Once I've checked my pocket to make sure that I have tiny treats to record her, to reward her with if she goes, uh, if she goes potty in the right place, which is outside. As soon as I get to the door, I'm going to put her down and head for her potty area. Uh, letting her walk outside will help jiggle anything that needs to come out. So we'll move over and. Uh, when you take your puppy out, you need to stand quite still in the potty area. As you can see, Lula is, pottying doesn't seem to be her number one priority at the moment, uh, but that's okay. You just need to stand quite still, remind her from time to time, uh, puppy's name in this case, Lula, go, go pee, which is what I say, and uh, you need to stand there for about three minutes, which in the rain will seem like an eternity uh, and even in a day a lovely day seems quite a long time especially when there doesn't seem to be any indication of pottying going to occur so um, we will wait and if miss lula is not going to potty this time we will say so much for that and then we will call it a day and go back in, put her in her long-term confinement area with something to chew on and set the timer for 20 minutes. And then we will go through the entire exercise. Again, potty training is very intensive, but if you stay with it, uh, you will have great success. Anytime you put your puppy in the long-term confinement area, which of course at this stage in her life with you is all the time, except when you know she's empty, then you want to give her something to keep her busy. Uh, this is a chew toy that I've smeared with uh, moist dog food, and right beside her on the floor is a hollow bone, um, which is not particularly interesting at the moment. I think she'll she'll tell you that in a minute. Um, but I'm going to then show you how to make it interesting. This is a hollow bone. It's been well chewed by another dog. But they're so handy because when they're empty, you can fill them with a little kibble mixed with something moist like cream cheese or peanut butter. Or today I have some moist um, dog food. So I'm going to get a little bit of Lula's kibble and I'm going to stuff it and then she'll find this one exciting too. We'll leave her. Now then, we're going to take this hollow bone and we're going to make it more interesting. So here in this dish, I have some wet dog food, moist dog food, I should say. And I'm going to take some of the kibble like this and I'm going to smush it all together so that the moist dog food provides a kind of glue to keep it in the bone. And that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to stuff it in the bone. And I might as well use it all. Turn it over the other side. And now I'm going to use this one. She's still busy with the other one, but I'm going to use this one to lure her into her crate. You can use anything, but since I happen to have this, and the, the thing about this is if you have several of these, um, then you can have filled two or three at one time and put a couple in the freezer. So you've always got a stuffed chew toy ready to keep puppy occupied. Okay. Now, Miss. Uh, 
Now, Miss Lula, look what I have here. You're going to have to go in your crate and get it, though. Look. Lula, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Go see. And then when Puppy is in, you can, if you need to, close the door. And my thinking is that because she has something to occupy herself for a few minutes, um, she will, she's got more than a few minutes worth there. She's probably got the equivalent of her dinner because she's very small and she's only 12 weeks old. But she'll happily chew on that and that will give you some time to put your feet up or do an errand or have a shower or whatever you need to do. So when you put puppy out, you can put her in there but not for any and longer. I got puppy then. in my arms just in case because I don't want to have an accident before I get to the door. And But as soon as I get out the door, I want to put her down so that as we walk to the potty area, anything that's in her will jiggle and want to come out. Over here, little girl. Lula, go pee. It's important for me, or you, the handler, to stand very still while your puppy does whatever it is she's doing. Don't interact because that will distract her. Right now she's distracted enough. And I'm just going to stay here and the optimum time is for three minutes. Which I can assure you when you're standing here feels like an eternity. And with a dog this size you really do want to pay very close attention because she's awfully close to the ground. pieces of kibble for a treat in this case. Oh my goodness, that was absolutely excellent. Let's go, little girl. Yeah, that was very good. Okie dokie, Smokey.